Randomness is a cornerstone of computer music, and you can check out this guide file called Randomness for an overview. And when we generate random numbers in SC Lang, we get a convincingly random sequence. And if we go get a cup of coffee, come back five minutes later, do it again, we're virtually guaranteed to get a different sequence. But it is possible to reproduce a specific random sequence because, fun fact, computer-generated randomness is not random at all. It's completely deterministic, but the algorithm is complex enough that the human brain just can't see it. So for us, if it feels random, then for all intents and purposes, it is random. A random number generator, or RNG, begins with a seed, some integer that provides a starting point for the algorithm. And the simplest way to seed SC Lang's RNG is this thread dot rand seed equals some integer. Let's do 24. And then we generate some random numbers, which seem random enough, but reseed, and we'll get the exact same sequence every time. And this applies to any random choice that SC Lang makes, like choosing from an array, flipping a coin, or using a different method like xbrand. And if we change the seed, even by the smallest possible amount, the results are completely different. So let's unpack what this thread actually means. In the SuperCollider language, the context in which code runs is called a thread. And right now we're in the main top-level thread, so that's what this thread refers to. There's a class called thread, which mainly exists to provide a framework for its subclass routine, which is a special type of function that can pause and resume. Routines inherit the RNG seed from their parent thread. In other words, the thread in which they were created. So if the main thread seed is 24, then this routine has the same seed and produces the same sequence from before, 27, 72, 99. But a routine can have its own seed. And one option is to use the rand seed method on the routine before it plays, and just like that, different numbers. Or you can use this thread inside the routine, in which case it refers to the new child thread instead of the main parent thread. And in this case, resetting the routine has the side effect of reseeding the RNG, because reseeding takes place in the routine. And just to clarify some subtleties here, if the top level seed is 24 and we grab a couple numbers, 27, 72, we already know the next one's going to be 99. Even if we let this routine blow through a few numbers, this has no effect on the RNG of the parent thread. Case in point, 99, still next in line. All right, let's make some sound. Here's a routine called SoundMaker. It plays a UGen function and waits and then loops that process over and over again. Uh, the UGen function picks eight random frequencies, sums eight sine waves, and applies an envelope. So it sounds like this. Then we have a second looping routine to create a musical sequence. And the first thing it does is seed the first routine. We'll give it a value in just a second. And then it jumps into an iteration block. Six times in a row, it calls next on the first routine and then waits for 0.12 seconds. Calling next on a routine tells it to start evaluating and then come to a full stop if it runs into a wait. So this one is totally arbitrary. It could be any number. And you can also replace wait with yield, same result. So when using next on a routine, this line is like a traffic cop that says stop, and I will tell you when you can keep going. So we're going to prepare a seed value and then play the second routine. And you'll notice we get six random bloops that then repeat indefinitely. And because seed is a global variable inside a continually reevaluated process, we can swap it out in real time, but the seed only updates at the beginning of a six note cycle, so the rhythm is preserved. So lots of variations to explore, but an important observation, all these techniques are exclusively language side, so it only applies to RNG in SC Lang, not on the server. And just to demonstrate, if we swap the X brand method for the X brand UGen, the behavior is different. The randomness no longer repeats because now the RNG lives on the server, an entirely different program with a separate RNG mechanism. Now, it is possible to do seeded randomness on the server, but it's too much for a five-minute video, so I'm going to save that for a future tutorial. But if you want to push in the right direction, take a look at RAND ID and RAND seed. So that's it for this tutorial. Big thanks to my patrons. Love you all. Truly appreciate the support. Thank you so, so much. And to everyone, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.